Okay, so this is a new one for me. It's in the soju section in the convenience store, I think in the grocery store as well. It's, um, I'm not 100% sure what it is. We'll have to see when we open it. I'm assuming it's flavored soju or it's some kind of Korean wine or something like that. It's a little bit lower alcohol content. It's... I read it earlier. 12%? I thought it was 13%. Oh, come on. It's really... Oh, wow. This one's only 7%. Really? So, apparently, this one's only 7% alcohol. This one's 12%, that was, yeah, 12%. Okay, well that's surprising. Um, well, it's definitely not regular soju. If it is, it better taste like pure water. Um, because of the different colors, I'm assuming this one's blue, as in grapes, or blueberries, or something like that. Probably blueberries. This one's red, so it might be strawberries, raspberries, something like that. Yeah. Let's open them and see. Wow, it doesn't smell as good as you would think it would smell if it's only 12% alcohol. Oh, and by the way, these were both 2,500 won, so just a hair over $2, something like that for each one. Uh, and it's funny, there was a sign there saying, buy four for only 10,000 won. It's like, there were, it looked like there was a sale, like there was a sign on it saying there was a sale, or at least it looked like it was saying there was a sale. But these are originally 2,500 won. You buy four, that's 10,000 won. You don't need to buy four to get that price. You buy one, it's 2,500 per bottle. You buy four, it's 2,500 per bottle. So that's weird. In Korea, I'd always keep my eyes open and uh, read the sales really carefully because sometimes, well, and that's true. I shouldn't say it's always a sale that they're, they're doing this, um, but it definitely looks like a sale. They have like the normal price and then in red above it or something and bigger letters saying like, oh, buy four for this price or whatever. But sometimes that price is more money. So that doesn't make any, any sense. So like you can even take your phone out and do the math yourself so you know 100% for sure how much it is for buying four or buying five or however many it might be. I've seen it where you buy four and it was like a dollar more if you buy it four um, as like a deal, <laughs> even though that's not a deal. And so I just bought one. And so I was like, oh, well, I'm getting a better deal for buying this one than they're getting for buying four, at least per bottle. So let's taste this and see what it tastes like. I want to give my nose a little time to get that smell out of there. This time, I'm just going to taste it and not smell it. Oh, and I forgot on the front, it said, oh, okay. This one says 12. Simsol. I don't know what that means. This tastes pretty good. 12 Simsol. You can see right here, 12, and underneath it says Simsol. Um, it says Simsol. Simsol. Sorry, Simsol. In English and in Korean. This one says 7. 7 Sparkle Simsol. So I'm guessing this one's carbonated. This one seems to have a little carbonation. Maybe not. I thought it had a little carbonation, but no, not really. I thought it was just like a little bit of residual that was maybe built up in there naturally. Um, yeah, it tastes, it tastes a lot better than it smells. I'll give it that. It tastes better than regular soju but it's also about 
four percent less, four and a half percent less than regular soju, what they consider regular soju nowadays. Because regular soju now is around 6.5 or 6.9 percent. Regular soju used to be 19 to 21 percent alcohol. And I guess one thing I should point out also is I'm in Daegu and last time I lived in Korea was seven years ago. So for all I know, um, Daegu, the alcohol is a little bit different here. Um, I did drink in Busan and Gimhae not that long ago, but I didn't go to a convenience store or grocery store myself. So I guess I shouldn't say for sure the entire country is mainly 6.5 and 6.9% for soju. But from my experience, this is what I'm seeing. Uh, last time I lived in Korea, I lived in the countryside in northern, well, middle, like three-fourths of the way north in Korea. Uh, in the middle, three-fourths of the way up, basically. I was in Yongin area, the Yongin area, at a small town just outside of Yongin called Yanji. And it was like 30 minutes from Seoul by bus. And then the second area I lived in was one subway stop outside of Seoul, so it was technically not Seoul, I guess, but it was, I considered it Seoul, because I was only one subway stop out. Anyways, last time I was in Korea, and in 2009 when I was in Korea, 12 years ago was the first time I was in Korea, the soju was between 19 and 21% alcohol. Now I'm back, and it's... 16.5 or 16.9 around there, but I am in Daegu, so I do want to point that out. I don't want to say this is how it is in the entire country because I've only been back for a month, and I've only been in Daegu, Gimhae, and Busan, but I've only been to stores buying stuff in Gimhae. So this one also has the number on the inside of the cap, so you can play that number game, and the ring stays on the cap. So that's kind of nice. You can play that game. Oh, it's nice to have that option if you want to do that. Okay, this one is the carbonated one, supposedly carbonated. And again, this is only about 7% alcohol. Yeah, 7% alcohol. I was, I was assuming it was going to be 12% like the other one. Man, this one smells really bad too. Well, I don't want to say it smells really bad, but it doesn't smell that good. Especially for being 7%. Okay, this one tastes a little better than the first one. This one wasn't bad. This one, flavor-wise, is better than regular soju. I didn't want to say it tastes like blueberries. It has some kind of a berry flavor. It might have a hint of blueberry to it. Honestly, this one almost seems like it has a hint of blueberry and grape. This one, I think kind of hint, has a hint of, was it raspberry? Maybe? And I'm really stretching saying that it tastes like raspberry. It honestly doesn't really taste like raspberry. But there's red on the label, so I'm just assuming there's some kind of raspberry or something in there. And it does have kind of a, a fruity flavor to it. And because it has that red on the label, I'm just going to say it's probably raspberry or strawberry. It doesn't really taste like it, though. This one doesn't really taste like blueberry either. But it had a fruity flavor to it, some kind of fruit. And um, there's blue on the label, so it might be blueberry. Could be blackberry. Could be grapes. This one could be uh, raspberries, strawberries, probably just those two, I would assume, but I don't know. This one does taste a little better because there's a little bit less alcohol in it. I like carbonation. There really isn't much carbonation in here. It's barely carbonated. If I got this drink and I didn't know it was carbonated, then I might not even think it was carbonated. Honestly, I might not think it's carbonated if I didn't read the label. Um, maybe it's just really flat and I got a bad bottle or I think it's, but it's a glass bottle so it should hold the carbonation. 
it's not like a plastic bottle where it can breathe and the carbonation can go away and it can get flat. The glass glass bottles and cans should stay carbonated, if not completely, at least pretty well. Yeah, so I'd recommend trying it. This one tastes a little better. Again, it's only 7% alcohol. It's only a, it's only two dollars, just a little bit over. But the thing is, you can buy a spell of soju for less money, and it's more alcohol. And soju is also really easy to drink, so I would just suggest buying soju unless you want to try something new. Then, like what I'm doing, I, I want to try new stuff. I want to do reviews on it, but I also just want to try new stuff. So I do recommend these if you want to try something new. They're not bad. This one's a little better. This one's not bad though, but there's a little bit more alcohol in this one, so um, take that however you want. I recommend try them. They're, they're not as bad as a couple of the other drinks that I had. Some of those Korean wines that were just terrible. I um, can't remember the name of, it, of them, but there was a couple where they were just terrible. I'll show you the two bottles really fast. Okay, so these were terrible. I still didn't finish this one, which is kind of weird, but I've been buying a lot of new stuff, so I just have, I've had other stuff to drink. So this one tasted kind of earthy, kind of like ginseng. It might be made with ginseng. The color is kind of right for that, and it looks like more old-fashioned type of stuff. The picture and the writing's kind of like calligraphy kind of writing, sort of. This wasn't bad in a way, but I wouldn't really recommend it. It's worth trying, but you probably won't buy it again after trying it. It's 13% alcohol. For 13% alcohol, it should have tasted a lot better. Okay, this one. This one, honestly, it smelled so bad, it tasted so bad, and the bottle looks kind of like floor cleaner. But I was a little nervous about drinking it. I was worried it was floor cleaner, but it was mixed in with all the Korean wines in the liquor section at the grocery store. And then it has uh, alcohol, 11%. So, I don't know, I drank the whole bottle, and I didn't, didn't get sick. I didn't drink it all in one shot, but yeah, this stuff was bad. It looks like it's made from bamboo. I've never eaten bamboo before. Well, not like by itself, but it tastes like what I would imagine bamboo would taste like. Like maybe a mixture of like bam uh, rice alcohol and bamboo, maybe something like that. The other one I think was also a rice alcohol with ginseng in it. And these were in the Korean wine section. I would not call either of these wine. I don't think there's any fruits in either of them. They, they're maybe made in a similar process like wine, but if there's no fruit in it, why would you call it wine? I don't think you can, I don't want to say you technically can't, but I wouldn't call it wine. Just like makgeolli. Makgeolli is not Korean rice wine. Rice is a grain, just like beer. So I would call it, I don't even, rice, I would call it rice beer, not rice wine, but rice beer. Rice wine sounds fancier. So I think that was just a big marketing ploy with the Korean government. Call these wine, even though I wouldn't really. I don't know what the ingredients are 100%. So I don't want to say for sure, like, there's no fruit in them or no berries or anything like that. Uh, and I think I said fruit, but yeah, um, no berries like grapes or whatever. There could be uh, like a certain percentage mixed in just so they can say that they're wine. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this one, if you want to taste something that's a little more traditional tasting and unique, I could see tasting this, but you don't probably only buy it one time. I, you probably will never buy it again. This one, I could see try it just if you want to try something new and you're willing to spend your money on it. it they were both pretty cheap. They're like $2.00 maybe three dollars at most but this one you'll also never buy again and 
I would recommend maybe not even buy it one time. It's not terrible, and it'll get you drunk. It'll be something unique. You could buy it when your friends visit Korea for something unique for them to try, but they're not going to like it. Okay, we'll take that how, however you want, and if you have any more questions about alcohol or something you want me to try, then just send me a message.